Hey guys my name is Gwem in this video I will show you how to set up Ether SX2 on Android. There are many emulators available for you to download on your smartphone or tablet but there are two of them that stand out from the rest. It's the Ether SX2 and DAM on PS2. The main difference between these two emulators is that Ether SX2 is 100% free and much more faster than Daemon PS2. Let me know in the comments below if you're wondering on what's the best one for you. Before we start please like share and subscribe if you like my content. Now let's start! First install only the Ether SX2 on Google Play Store. Second search on your browser about BIOS file of PS2 and download it. Third. Go to the RAR application and start extracting the BIOS file that you've been downloaded. Make sure you extracted the BIOS file where you can easily find and browse it. Fourth go to Ether SX2 app and import the BIOS file that you've extracted. Now find the PS2 BIOS folder on your storage. Click the folder and choose one region of your choice. Once it's already done click it to choose. Pray the plus icon and add the storage where your game or ISO file are. Wait for a second and it will automatically scan the storage that you choose. Just to make sure you have the ISO file on that particular storage. Success! Now you can see your games on the list. But before we play go to app settings and change the screen orientation to landscape mode. Turn your device around if you have auto rotation enabled. You can also force it to always use landscape in the first page of app settings. Now we're ready to play. All records are Capcom versus Here we go. This is, this is the first dream event. Great! I knew that crew was the of Millionaire Fighting 2001. Keep rocking, baby. The console is an extremely complex piece of hardware, with many very powerful components, even for today. You need a high-end device to achieve good performance. But even it's stated like that I can play 2D games with less or even no lags at all. They recommend at least a Snapdragon 845 equivalent device. This means 4 large cores, Cortex A75 level. If you only have 2 big cores, for example Snapdragon 700 series so CS, you should not enable multi-threaded VU, and performance will suffer as a result. Devices with Mali or Power VR GPUs will run the app, but performance will be lower than Adreno GPUs. Griselda! <coughs> Gwendolyn. The sound of battle seems so far away.
For much info about Ether SX2, you can visit their official FAQ link in the description. I hope you guys learn and enjoy my video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and also comment below if you have some suggestions for my next video. This is Gwen, thanks for watching.